Many industries have been struggling to hire lately, even as the state's unemployment rate hits record lows. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple went to a job fair to hear from employers and job seekers on what they're looking for. Employers here at Wallace Community College in Selma say they've been struggling to hire lately, but they hope that events like today help turn that around. Roughly 80 employers across 15 industries came out to recruit, including the Department of Youth Services, which has more than a few openings. Uh, at least 20, maybe possibly even more. Congresswoman Terry Sewell set up the job fair to help her constituents connect with opportunity. The people of this district who need economic opportunities and better jobs will be here today showing up and showing out because they know that everything begins with the dignity of a job. While Alabama hit a 2.6% unemployment rate in June, many cities like Selma have rates double or triple that. Plus, Alabama's labor participation rate is among the lowest in the country at 57%, leaving many industries still struggling. Hiring people since the pandemic has been very hard. We are in need of nursing staff, bad. Marilyn Smith with Diversicare Nursing Homes says hiring has been hard but they're hoping more pay will draw more people to the job. We're going to increase our salary at Diverse Care Marion just over the last week or so. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, last year 47.8 million people in the U.S. quit their jobs, many in search of better pay or benefits, like Jenner Parham. I'm actually looking to um, have some fairly good insurance and some retirement. Parham says she'll be reading through the information she picked up today to see which jobs might be a match. Now, this is the 11th year in a row that Congresswoman Terry Sewell has hosted a job fair in her district. In Selma, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.